Welcome back guys! So today's video has been very requested for a long time now. The first video that I made about judging my viewers tattoos was... I thought that I was being uh, judgmental like in a constructive way but a lot of people thought otherwise. Anyhow, you can never please everybody. A couple of days ago I put up a story uh, of asking you to send in your your tattoos for me to judge, so everyone who sent in their tattoos want them to be judged and this is free will. Of course, a disclaimer, my opinion does not matter at all in this situation. I'm just doing this for fun and entertainment, so don't come at me that maybe I don't like a specific tattoo, even if it's well done, it's just like my opinion. I don't think I'm going to be able to go through every single tattoo that you sent me. If you're gonna want a part three to this, like the continue to this, let me know in the comments, stuff like that, because yeah, I'm gonna try to go through as many as possible, but I got so many pictures sent in that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do all of them. So, without further ado, let's get into the video and into the pictures. I'm gonna sit aside so there's room for them. Here we go! Picture number one. I mean tattoo number one. So it's a line work tattoo. Uh, looks like peonies. I think it's like a great tattoo. But I think some places have too many lines, but that's my personal opinion. This tattoo, uh, it's not that I don't like it. I mean, it's still, I like the idea, I like the composition, but I think that some places have also either too many lines that I have no idea how are going to hold up because this also looks kind of fresh. I, I kind of like it, but I think in the horns, uh, some of the lines won't hold up as well and maybe in the hair as well. It's just, it's just me. It's just me. So, tattoo of a uh, moth. Very beautiful. I like the little, like, white details they have in them, like these little dots make them look like they're shiny. I don't know how, like, the white dots are going to hold up with time because we know how white ink is. I don't have any white ink on me, which is surprising because I thought I would by now. And I would kind of could could have shown an example even without like the white details. The tattoo is going to hold up very well, and it's very beautiful. Next one is an old kind of a lady forest creature. Uh, maybe it's a reference to something. I don't know, but it's still. I think it's very beautiful. I love that the outlines are there, but then the detail inside of it, like it's, it's either it's the face or the hair, is very fine. And, and detailed. Because of the outlines, I think it's going to have, hold up very well. The hair on the arm is just, oh, that's very good. I know how my tattoos hold up because they're very bold and like with thick lining and I know how they hold up, but like, I don't have any tattoo that's like this detailed, so I'm kind of interested what they look like when they're healed. That's my ultimate question always, but Right now, in this picture, it looks amazing. Oh, this is a very colorful, yet very, like, cartoony tattoo. And it's also, you can see, because of the redness of the skin, it's very fresh, but it looks very good. Very clean lines. This kind of reminds me of a more monster-esque version of Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Even though Mike Wazowski is already a monster. But anyway, this is so cool. And the person that sent me this said that the little red smiley is made by a daughter of the tattoo artist. Her first tattoo, she's four years old. That's so cool that a four-year-old did, did a little smiley face tattoo on you. That's so cool. So I think this kind of adds value to it. Next tattoo. Whoa. Well, this is first of all it's very very fresh like right off the needle it's very fresh but it looks very crisp very, <laughs> very well done this is very a very traditional piece so i like i like traditional tattoos i just like them so much and the color the color scheme in this amazing this is very a very very beautiful tattoo next one i think this one and the previous one are the are the same person because a lot of people send me like a couple of their own tattoos, so now I may be mistaken, but I think this is the same person still. Also a traditional tattoo, it's a globe, obviously, and it's also like very beautiful. So, a Halloween Wednesday Adams tattoo, hello! I also have a Wednesday Adams on me shoulder, as a lot of you already know that, but this one 
This one is actually, for my surprise, not fresh because the previous pictures of the tattoos were like fresh tattoos. This one looks aged and I think it's aged pretty well. I like the composition. I like that uh, the little flame accent is very nice. Uh, that's the only color in the tattoo. I like it very much. Anyhow, moving on. This tattoo looks like a, a fine line, detailed tattoo. It looks good. It's again, a photo of it is very fresh. I am not sure how is that going to help hold up. Is that a wolf or a bear? Is that a wolf or a bear? Or is it just me? I don't know animals. <laughs> the quality of the picture is not that good, so it's hard for me to tell. But I think it's like dot work. And yeah. But like still, it's great. It's great, it's good. Okay, well, this picture, obviously, terrible tattoo. <laughs> okay, this is actually my friend's hand. She sent me in her finger and told me to judge it, even though her, she herself knows it's not the best tattoo. And for laughs, I didn't even know she had a tattoo. So, uh, yeah, but, um, and she was like laughing about it because a lot of people guessed wrong. What was that supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a Latvian symbol. She was laughing that a lot of people thought it was just like either phone number or I don't know, just like threes drawn on or like birds drawn on her finger. And that's why it's kind of funny because you can interpret it any way you want. But at the same time, I think it would have been a pretty okay tattoo. But like as a lot of us know, finger tattoos don't hold up that well. They also maybe don't heal as we, we wish. And sometimes fallout happens like you can see in this picture but still i think like if, if someone would have go over her tattoo it would end up looking well and great and good a traditional rose on the knee wait is that a knee or is that an elbow anyhow even either it's the elbow elbow or the knee it is a very painful area but the tattoo itself very big and bold i like the stem of the rose actually i like that it's kind of blue and uh, looks a bit cartoony. The way the horn is drawn, I assumed it's cartoony. But yeah, maybe for my opinion, the rose head itself is a bit too big, but it's my opinion. And maybe it's because of the angle of, of the tattoo, but still like looks great. Like what's up guys? You've been sending me such great pictures of tattoos, like such great tattoos. Pleasantly surprised, thank you. <laughs> my eyes ain't bleeding yet. Oh no, 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 no. I'm so sorry guys, my camera dies. So I have no idea where I left off, but I'm just going to continue on where I was. So I was talking about this tattoo, which is like a lady's face with the wings for her face, like covering her face. You can obviously see in the picture but I like it very much. First of all, because it's very well done. It has very clean line work and I love the saturation of the black and like the contrast between everything. It's just great. And I love the, the way her lips are drawn and, the, and the, like, the feathers themselves are so well drawn. I love the contrast and it's, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Another moth tattoo. Love it. And this one looks pretty healed, actually. Yeah. This also, like, I love the lines. I love how symmetrical it is. I'm a sucker for symmetrical things. I don't know why. Is it my OCD? Maybe. So it looks very beautiful. So uh, this tattoo, this girl also sent me a... Uh, like a little backstory on the tattoos. So she says, a quick backstory. This is my very first tattoo that I worked so damn hard for it. It was done at Milan Tattoo Convention and it took about eight hours of work. It is a script that says restless, a very powerful, <coughs> sorry, a very powerful word for me as I never stop working and pushing myself. My tattoo artist is Stas Gromov from M Moscow, Russia. Yeah. So that's her tattoo. Uh, I love it so much. I actually very love the abstract scripts where only maybe sometimes you know what it says and a lot of people can't really read it. But like, not when it's badly done. You can do a tattoo that is just like badly done and you can't tell what it is or what it's supposed to say. But these are like, I love how abstract they are. I love them so much. If I read it right, she said that it is her first tattoo or is it is her very first tattoo that she worked so damn hard for. So I'm not uh, entirely sure if that's her first first tattoo or her like first huge tattoo. 
but still it looks so good on her it looks so good oh my god that was a lot of tattoos i have no idea how many times i repeated myself saying the same thing over and over again but all in all i was very pleasantly surprised of the beautiful tattoos that you sent me i really like them let me know again if you want a part three for this because there are so many tattoos that I still didn't see because you sent me so many pictures. This is the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Give me a like button, subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.